Hello, I'm Jerry Seinfeld. How do comedians come up with material? For years, comedians have jealously guarded the secret of where material comes from. It's been confidential until now. The fact is, almost everything is funny. You just have to have a way of looking at it. These are comedy x-ray specs. They're ready now. Designed so that for the first time in history, the general public will be exposed to the way comedians view our world. For the next hour, it will be as if you, the viewer, have stolen a comedian's brain. How can this be? I'll demonstrate. Let's just say we put the comedy x-ray specs right on the lens of the camera. See that? Funny, huh? I think that's enough. I said that's enough! I'm glad you all enjoyed that. Now, can we get on with this? You just saw some of my material. Now let's try it with the specs, and I'll show you why it seemed funny to me in the first place. Two hours late getting here, Lou. Unbelievable. Whose fault is that? Why do we have to get here late every year? Oh, yeah, you sure you're uh, betting oh, yes. here? You know there's pudding in this. Well, that's good uh -huh. for you. How do they do that? Well, it's it's in the mix. Uh -huh. Why can't you get the directions which you invite us every year? You know, oh. I've never had one meal here. I always come in time for dessert. One. And it's scientific, right? That's good. I never seem to enjoy these family gatherings. I didn't care either. I think I was invisible to them. You don't write anything down. Hey, no one's going. Oh, I really shouldn't have this. What time, supper? Where do you put it? I can't be around food. You don't. I say play Candyland. I put on five. You know, pounds. I believe I'm losing weight. I'm swimming in. That's these the things. way the world is. You can't win. No, you can't. Well, what do you think? What time, supper? Normally, I could barely take these scenes. But I didn't mind today. The tickets to my all-time favorite TV show had finally arrived. The Howdy Doody Show. I didn't care what they babbled. I was going to the peanut gallery. A dream come true. $20,000 of plastic surgery. They say I'm still not done yet. I've always felt that it takes time. What are you going to do? It's your help. Time will tell. Honey, hand me uh. my cigarettes. <coughs> no, not the Hey, I heard Murray's the in the hospital. You heard anything? I don't like him. Very bad. He should drop dead. Oh. You should drop Good dead. Good book says they should all drop dead. time for all seasons. I'm, who's got the time? I wish I had <coughs> the time. Now, it says here they're taking howdy duty off there. Off the air. You're taking Howdy Doody off the air! I'm not surprised. What's he looks off the very air? bad. I don't even know what off the air Come means. here, you goofy kid. Get your undies all in a bundle over a puppet. Come over here now. Now you listen to your Uncle Lou, all right? I was in the same situation myself the other day. I was on the phone to one of my main suppliers, Jack Kramel from American Tension Envelopes. The client right there in my office. This has nothing to do with my problem. With lost, you, know? you know what I did? <laughs> I lied. I always lie. Lied right in his face. Bald face lie right in front of the client. It didn't bother me. I always lie. See, that's how I get started in business. I could be lying to you right now. Now, you wouldn't know you're just a kid. <laughs> it was different when I was a young man. We had to be men at that time anyway. I had to walk to school. It was uphill both ways. It's like an Escher print. Figure that out. But I'll tell you one thing. So, hey, 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 wait a minute, hey. Why don't you tell me you were there? I would. Huh? Yeah, tell him I'm Buffalo Bob. I'll vouch for you. Hey, I'm a lot older than you are. And I don't know if I ever told the truth once. <laughs> well, anyway. Evelyn, if we're going to beat the traffic, oh, yeah. we should be moving. We should go. Thanks for the help. Who cares what time it is? Without Howdy you know, Doody, you know, my life is over. Oh, I enjoy these parties, but then I'm a party person. Who says that? My friends, family, well, I'll tell you one thing, though. Yeah? I love what she's done with the place, huh? Oh, it's beautiful. Hey, there's a whole other room in there. There's a guy in there, just like me. <laughs> and he looks very bad. Sure. <laughs> I hope you're starting to see what a powerful tool these can be. They can also adjust the world a little more to your personal taste. Let's take one more look at that living room and see how much fun it could have been if the atmosphere had been a little... looser. Rack him up, Dad! Bad kid. Him in his fantasy living room. Come on, Dad. You give it a try. I just loaded it up with fresh clocks. All right. Try it with this. Hey. Did you get this hammer from my toolbox? Oh, yeah. 
and I'm going to put it back wherever I want. Uh, I've got no problem with that. You know, when I was a kid, we used to play outside. Yeah, yeah, just go already. All right. I don't believe you two. You know that's my favorite piece. <laughs> Now that's enough playing around, you guys. Go wash your hands. The chocolate's almost ready for dinner. Oh, and Jerry, please bring your frog to the table. Okay, okay. Boy, what a pain. Sure glad I don't have school this year. Come on, Dad. Let's go wash up. I love that kid. <laughs> Fathers. Nobody seems to know what to do with these guys. They wander around the house. Nobody really knows how to operate them. Wouldn't it be great if there was some sort of a guide? Yeah, a guide to the family dad. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mr. Seinfeld. All right, continuing now with the guide to the family dad. You are responsible for these new dad terms. They go in your dad term to kid meaning glossary. Your mother and I means? Your mother. I have a little job for you. This will take hours of your valuable time. You have to be careful with these. You'll have a lot of fun with these. I'm going to watch a little TV. I'm going to fall asleep in a chair. I'm going to look at the paper. I'm going to fall asleep in a chair. All right. Now, one of the most important things to know about dad ownership is dads feel they know enough about the world to start their own civilization. That's what the family is to them. The fathers think, the hell with life, I can invent my own people. My own rules for fashion, my own health and diet. Have you ever had your father stick a big jar of high test super chief horseradish under your nose? <laughs> and then he says, this cleans the system out right down the line. They believe in this rotor rooter Probably the trickiest part of dad ownership is gift giving. Does anyone have any suggestions? Yes. How about one of those executive decision makers, like the eight ball? Fine. And you know what you'll get for your birthday? Robitussin. Someone else. Yes. Monogram shirt? Honey, I know it's his shirt. He knows it's his shirt. Who else needs to know whose shirt it is? Someone else. Oh, oh, oh! Yes? I know. How about a tie? Out. But... Get out. I don't believe I stand up here and talk till I'm blue in the face, and I have to deal... You belong in Intro to Dads, that's room 101, down the hall. I'll be back. Oh, I see we got the family trip simulator in today. I believe Tommy Wyman practiced on it earlier, if you'd like to give us a little demonstration. Tommy? All right. Now, first thing, get that seatbelt off. You can't possibly annoy your sister strapped in like that. You're in heavy traffic on a Sunday afternoon. It's hot. You're antsy. You're moving around Thank pretty good. Oh, nice move to the floor of the car. And that teasing's paying off. Your sister's starting to cry. That means good points. Don't make He's me looking come in the rearview mirror. There. Uh oh. Nice move with the comic books. Did you see that? He protected himself with the book. You're almost in the bonus round. If you can just move the radio off his favorite station. Uh oh, he's had it with you, crazy kids. He's pulling over. He'll have both hands free in five seconds. Get out of the car. You're in serious trouble. Get out of the car. Nice going. Good scores on agility and aggravation. But saving this slinky was risky and could have jeopardized the entire mission. I'm sorry to have to be so rough on you kids, but remember, a dad is not just a job, it's an adventure. Dad salute. Ugh. Dismissed. Those are very special kids. <laughs> Remember, the X-ray specs are fully automatic. Do not attempt to adjust your attitude towards more sympathetic or more cynical. We will control why something is funny. Dogs do want to be people, and they think they're going to be. They all have their little human accessories. They've all been taught human behaviors. Sit, shake. Why does he have to learn to shake? He's not closing any big business deals. All right, I'm going to go in the store. You wait here. Yeah. I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, yeah. The window. 
don't forget the window. Air. Dogs need air. And open the window a little bit. This coat isn't Banlon, you know. I could do this. Wouldn't hurt my social life any. <laughs> Ooh, great meal. I'm stuffed. Kibble? So, uh, maybe you'd like to go for a walk later. Oh, by the way, these are for you. You know, you smell fantastic. Are you wearing perfume? No. I guess I just love that smell. So have you tried the new gravy train? Oh, no, I'm still on cycle two. I'm pretty active. Wow. I try and keep in shape. Uh, mostly walking. Wow. I change my tail when I get the chance. Wow. Uh oh, here he comes. You miss me, fella? Yeah, like the mange. No biscuits. Boy, if I could run this fast, I'd be king of the dogs. You like the car, don't you, boy? Hey, Dukes, Bart, Muffin, it wasn't the van, I'm okay. I'll meet you in the yard. Who's there? It's Merlin Olsen. I have your fertility bouquet. Oh, it's you. Uh, come on up. I I'll leave the door open. I'm just finishing up in the bathroom. Hello? Cats. They always give me that just because you know her doesn't mean we have any relationship attitude. Can't wait to find out his stupid little name and scratch him on that little head. I could crush that head if I wanted. Make yourself at home. Thanks. Come here, kitty. What time is the movie? I don't believe this. Have you made friends with Cleopatra? Sure have. He, uh, had to go out. When are you gonna be ready? Don't worry. Just keep playing with Cleopatra. She loves it. Okay. Come here, Cleopatra. And he's cool. We'll see about that, you hot shot. Come on, let's go. I've only got one life. Who rang my bell? Uh, I'm Jerry. We're off to see the movies. I'm the boyfriend. The boyfriend? Yeah, I'm new. Oh, well, that's a date of a different color. Come on in. I'll announce you at once. form of comedy. But I thought we were going to make the early show. I have every intention of making the early show. But first, bring me the lipstick of the last girl you went out with. <laughs> How about these? It's strawberry. It's a new flavor. All right, forget it. How about these? I won't even bother. I just touched these. Yeah, it was tough to crack the cookie aisle most days, but my kitty senses were tingling. The cereal aisle was right around the corner, and little did my mom know they were just as sweet. If that shopping cart had a seatbelt, I'd have worn it, because, friends, we were about to enter that precarious palace of the puff, that fare-thee-well fortress of flakes, that sanctuary of sweetness, sugar, trisodium mononitrate, the cereal aisle!
excuse me. Uh, keep watching. There's more. A box of cereal was a big deal. The equivalent of landing a job for an adult. My greatest kid dream was to someday actually get a job in that field. I wasn't picky. Flake design, crunch analysis, or maybe the editor-in-chief of Serial World magazine. Well, then who is causing the contents to settle during shipping? Great Caesar's ghost. Hold on. Best to you each morning. Can you hold, please? Yep. Steve, how far are you from Battle Creek right now? Well, keep on this thing till you draw up some information. I don't care if you do have to impersonate C.W. Post. You get me the inside scoop, or you're going to find yourself counting proof of purchase seals. Make that two scoops. Hello. Uh, ah, Jason Kirby. Yeah. Yes, I got your portfolio on the new adult cereals. Uh -huh. Can I speak frankly with you? Uh -huh. Kirby? Yeah. No one's interested in low sugar anymore. What are you doing? It's a hula hoop. Uh -huh. America's coming back to sugar like boomerangs in a headwind. Uh -huh. Do you want to know what you're going to see in the next five years? Yeah. Pre sweetened, super sweetened, sweetened again, and free prizes the size of your head. Uh -huh. That's what you'll see in this industry. Uh -huh. You want to know what I had for breakfast this morning? Yeah. A heaping bowl of frosted maxi sweets and a pure cane chaser. And you know what? I feel great. You know. The room is spinning, my head is buzzing. I couldn't make a fist if my life depended on it. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Go ahead, Kirby, keep it up. You'll fiber your ass right out of this business. Maybe you want to meet me for lunch? I'm having a heaping bowl of deviled hyper smacks. I'll be on the seventh floor in my log cabin syrup flotation tank. Damn, that guy's a real new Japan. Doreen? Doreen? Yes, sir? Would you fix me a glass of Cocoa Puff milk? But, sir... I realize it's only 2 o'clock, but I need something to calm my nerves. That guy really gets my undies in a bundle. My, you look very cereal today. Thank you, sir. Low sugar. What, did that man sleep through the Lucky Charms revolution? Look at what he sends me. 60 minutes news puff shaped like Mike Wallace and Morley Safer. What are these caustic little marshmallows, sir? Andy Rooney's. Nice resemblance, actually. Mm. Anything else come in today? Just these few. Quackies, the decoy duck cereal. What are they about? They come with a miniature Remington repeater rifle. You shoot the ducks, they sink into the milk, and you can eat them. The NRA is looking into it as a possible promotional gimmick. Mm. And this prize cereal? Oh. Yeah, there's a huge toy truck inside. And a little packet of cereal on the back. Oh, different. Did the Explodios come in today? Yes, sir. The lab just brought them up. B but they said definitely not to touch them until they get back from lunch. What? Sir, I mean their second breakfast break. Oh, that's ridiculous. Listen, sugar, the cereal hasn't been invented that I can't understand. I'm going to try a quick bowl. i got to run to that snack pack seminar anyway. But, sir... Explodios! Oh, now what could possibly happen? That certainly was a surprise inside, sir. You know, I kind of like it. Snap, crackle, kablooey. To learn more about comedy and joke making, the Library of Congress suggests these books and records. Woody Allen, The Stand-Up Years, Mel Brooks and Carl Ryan of The 2,000-Year-Old Man, Bob and Ray, Right If You Get Work, Robert Klein, Child of the 50s, and be sure to check the funny pages in your local newspaper. All available at your local public libraries. Visit them. They'll be happy to tell you how to read more about it.